Hello, it's Natasha at craftwithme.com. Thank you for joining me today. I would like to share with you two gift ideas using train ride uh, set from Pink Fresh Studio. So I die cut um, several, I think about um, six or seven trains um, and glued them together. Um, and now I'm stamping elements of the train on one of the die cuts and I'm using um, the, this piece of paper sort of to hold uh, the die cut in place. And uh, for stamping I use three colors. I use Fiesta Blue and Party Dress from uh, Catherine Poulenx and also Craft Ink, um, my favorite thing's Craft Ink. Um, and you don't really have to use Misty, you can totally use um, uh, your acrylic block. Uh, the elements really align easily and it's no problem at all. So I stamp the train in Fiesta Blue ink uh, and the bear in Craft Ink and small elements in red. What I love about Pink First Studio packaging is that you have a guide on the back of the packaging. And there are a lot of small elements in the set and sometimes you might be confused like what, where to stamp them and how to use them. And this guide at the back of the packaging is just perfect. So uh, also, as you can notice, I haven't stamped this little bump on the train and you will see why in a minute. Um, so now I'm gluing this top um, layer on uh, our decoration um, using liquid, liquid glue. Uh, and also the back of this uh, train is white. So you can either uh, use patent paper for the back of this um, decoration or you can stamp a sentiment there like I did. I stamped a sentiment and a date. So here I have prepared a card which is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. It's a square card. And I also I hit embossed a sentiment from the state from the set and I'm cut uh, die cut a slit using not worthy uh, not worthy uh, frames uh, from Pink Fresh Studio, which is, I think are absolutely amazing and absolutely must have. And uh, I've arranged some small elements um, from the set um, and I'm just stamping uh, this arrangement in all four corners of the card. I'm heat, um, heat embossing, rather not stamping really, heat embossing, um, so just rotating my card and stamping the same arrangement in all four corners. So now we need to punch a hole for the ribbon or for the twine. So I have practiced this several times on uh, scrap die cut, so to make sure that I punch it in the correct place. I didn't really want to mess this up. And you see I punched it um, just perfectly. Uh, I'm using red ribbon, you can use twine. I just, I went for red to add a little bit more color. And so you slide this uh, little cute decoration in the slit and here you have a little gift and you can write a message inside. Um, and yeah, so I think uh, a lovely gift idea. So now, um, for the second um, for the second idea, um, I'm going to make a bookmark again using the same set. You need a, a piece of cardstock, um, six by one and a half inches. Um, I score it at three inches um, and fold it. And then I stamp uh, the elements from the set using Distress Oxide inks. Oxide inks stamp beautifully on, on colored cardstock, on craft cardstock. I'm using Blueprint Sketch and Candied Apple. And I'm also using white pigmenting from Hero Arts. So uh, here I'm stamping the elements. And white pigmenting didn't really stamp well enough. Uh, it was too pale. So I decided to heat emboss it using white embossing powder. Pigment ink takes longer to dry. So it's easily it's easy to heat emboss with, with it. So you just stamp with pigment ink and then you um, use your uh, uh, embossing powder and you heat emboss it. And then I thought, hmm, I decided to do the same with the Distress Oxide um, with the red and blue images. So Distress Oxide inks also uh, take a bit longer to dry because they have this pigment element in them. And I heat embossed them with uh, clear uh, embossing powder. So here you see me doing this, uh, embossing um, some more white elements. And it's a very simple um, 
um, bookmark really. Heat embossing adds texture and uh, distress oxide inks um, add brightness to distress oxide um, colors and uh, also um, they're shiny and bright. So to make my um, bookmark close I'm using uh, self-adhesive magnetic sheets. They're available in many um, online shops. So I just bought a, a sheet, cut it into pieces and so you put two pieces together, uh, remove, uh, protect, um, remove the tape from one side, adhere to your bookmark and then uh, just remove the um, protective tape from another piece and then just close your bookmark and it holds perfectly and you, you can't really hear it but it you know clicks so nicely and um, yeah such a nice sound for the base to hold our bookmark I'm using pale blue cardstock and I cut a slit in it again using not worthy frames and uh, I just slide the uh, bookmark in this slit and this bookmark makes a nice focal element for our card and again I didn't go for any fancy decoration I just uh, stamped the sentiment uh, again from the set in blueprint sketch um, distress oxide ink and then I arranged small elements um, and picked them up with my acrylic block and then a little bit you know moved them around on my acrylic block and stamped them in the corners of the card just to add a little something um, to, to our piece. Um, so uh, yeah, um, that's and that's it. And obviously uh, you can decorate it more, you can decorate it less, you can uh, color or you can just have fun stamping. And what I love about this set, train right set, is that you can just stamp and play with your favorite inks and it doesn't take too long and the images are so cute and so whimsical and so much fun. So um, uh, here our projects are ready. You can write messages inside and I think this will make a nice gift. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I hope you like these ideas and you will give them a try. Subscribe to the channel for more inspiration. Have a great day and see you again soon. Bye!